All right, check this out. Here's a MIDI randomizer script called MIDI Ads Machina, and I can make it do this. Click generate. I'm going to get a bunch of notes and it's going to sound like this. And if I don't like that, I just press generate again. And if I want to try another scale, maybe I want to do G and I want to do harmonic minor. I'm just going to press generate again. So I can make it have more 16 notes and more 18 notes. And if I want, I can start playing with AdSense and seeing how much AdSense and the velocity range that it's going to have. Press generate again. Got it. And if you want to get really detailed with your notes, you can go to this tab and select how many of these notes you want in your randomizer. So for example, I want a lot of G's, um, some C's and note D, not D sharp and a lot of F sharps like that. So I'm just gonna press randomize and and I can choose how many octaves. And yeah, this thing is amazing and that's not all. There's an Euclidizer, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's some sort of rhythm um, technique that you can get a lot of interesting rhythms. So if you adjust these sliders in here, you're always going to get a very defined pattern. So, so I'm going to remove the accent and I'm going to play around with this and you will see you start getting... This thing is so nice with the AdSense mode and you can choose like pretty much your palm mutes and your open notes in here and how much of it. So it goes like... You can also choose random notes if you want to randomize it. But that sounds funny though. This thing is so fun, like I've been here for like two hours just playing around with these things and always getting something super interesting, like it's really fun. For example, I'm gonna go key E, key and this flamenco um, scale, so what are we gonna get? So let's generate. All right, maybe I want it less crazy, more like space out. So I'm gonna do eight notes and quarter notes like this. That is super fun. Let's do some more octaves. So let's see what we can get. I love that so much. And you can totally use this and you do the AdSense. I highly recommend you doing the AdSense. Like what usually sounds weird is AdSense where there should be AdSense. So um, you can go and play around manually with the velocities. Start getting stuff like... Super fun, super fun. Uh, that's MIDI Ads Machina. Oh, you may wonder how the heck am I doing the, the kick following the MIDI notes and also the bass at the same time. Uh, it's actually pretty simple to set up and you can do it if you're using like this kind of workflow. It works really super nice. Uh, for guitars, I'm using Odeon 2. Uh, those are my MIDI guitars are so running into Soldano and just some EQ. Uh, the rest of the things are the modern songwriting template that I have in the description. You can try it out if you want. The way I'm setting this up, let's start with the bass. So I have a MIDI bass in here. Uh, if I... 
you'll hear it's that's a MIDI bass. And what I'm doing is sending this track into this, um, into the MIDI bass, and I'm disabling the audio so it's none, and it's sending all the MIDI. This is pretty much sending all the MIDI from here into that track. So whenever I play there, um, let me get this really small. So whenever I play there, it's gonna get into here. So yeah, that was the most, uh, the easiest one. The drum one is a little tricky because I'm only want the kick to sound whenever I play any of the notes in here. So what I'm doing is creating a child track just underneath the drums uh, where my sampler is. So I'm running SSD Phi sampler for drums. And in here I have, um, I'm doing the same thing by the way, I'm sending the guitar MIDI into this child track of the drums and with the audio set to none and MIDI all. And what I have first on the chain in here is JS, MIDI every note the same. So this pretty much converts every MIDI note into whatever note you put in here. In this case, 30 sets is my kick drum. And then afterwards, I got MIDI velocity control, pretty much saying that I only want high velocity. So from here to here, uh, it's a good range. And yeah, this is making every hit very hard. So that's how I get the sound of guitars always following the kick and the bass. So it's really, really fun to compose like this, especially breakdowns. So yeah, I usually set it up like this when I'm doing a breakdown or something that I really want to write uh, with MIDI instead of my guitar, because um, usually there's like complex rhythms that I cannot come up off the top of my head. Uh, I would rather, I would much rather just write it in here directly. So I can just do stuff like that and play around with the AdSense and it's always really fun to do it this way. And then when I'm running out of ideas, I just load up this MIDI Ads Machina and start playing around with a bunch of these things and get ideas from here. It's like a really good starting point and then whatever sounds Silly, I'll just delete it and say like, oh, it would be better if this is, was, these notes were here and then change all of the AdSense to something that makes more sense. And then go from there. That's a really, really good use of a creative tool um, when you're feeling stuck. And yeah, that's it. Hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.